come to JST today I will show you how to uh, map flood susceptibility criteria for uh, flood risk assessment so that the criteria are uh, here as I, I shown in this word document so that we can map based on this so the first one is elevation as we can see here is the class here is the range and the class rating that means the lowest the elevations the highest the relating susceptibility so the highest uh, value and uh, a slope uh, rainfall and is land cover and normal difference pitch index and dvi distance from river distance from road so these seven criteria are used and combined in order to um, assess the flood of a certain area so that i will show you step by step of these how to prepare this criteria and how to produce a flood susceptibility map of a certain area so now uh, you can prepare this criteria this thematic map this flood susceptibility criteria in various uh, softwares like quantum js qjs arcjs or whatever uh, uh, friendly with you and what is convenient for you but for today and for this purpose i will show you uh, these uh, criteria uh, prepared in arcgis uh, arc map so let us go to arc open arc map so uh, as i uh, as i showed you these are the seven criteria that uh, must be prepared in order to move, in order to uh, map the the whole uh, flood sensitivity map of the study area. So the first one is elevation. As I uh, I said you elevation. So I, I have prepared this elevation map. This so this is my study area, and I have a digital elevation model DM. So I have extracted by my study area. Uh, this elevation so that I produce this elevation uh, of a certain area but in order to combine these all uh, factors so as I told you earlier the combination of these seven factors gives what this gives the flood susceptibility criteria combined and gives the uh, flood susceptibility map of a certain area so that uh, in order to prepare the first thing is preparing each each uh, theme, each criteria for uh, assigned weights so for example as i showed you elevation this out to this so the, the lowest elevation the highest susceptibility to flood and the highest the elevation the lowest susceptibility to flooding so we have to reclassify this elevation map into into uh, this criteria weight then go to arc toolbox then go to spatial analysis then go to reclass and go again to reclassify so the input raster must be the elevation data so click this one and select elevation so classify classify this into what five class five class so five classes so this one is two five classes okay So this is, let us rename this as elevation, elevation, and let us remove this, the original one. So this is elevation, uh, elevation increase, uh, this is the lowest elevation and highest elevation respectively. We can check this elevation by double clicking on the data. So that go to symbology, so that go to stretch. So this one two, one to five, 
So we can uh, check uh, just like this one, just like this one. The second one is the second parameter is uh, we have to uh, buy this one slope. So slope means the 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 low percent indicates very high to susceptibility to to flood, and the highest percentage of slope is low to uh, susceptibility to, to flood. That is with direct relation to elevation. Let us reclass the slope. Let us reclass the slope. So I have prepared this slope. By the way, this slope is derived from elevation. So that what I, uh, I am going to do is uh, reclass, double click on the slope. So go to again, reclassify, go to the slope, select the slope. Yes, classify, classify into five. Why, why we classify into five? Because our rating starts from one to uh, five. So the final output of the map uh, susceptibility to or flood risk assessment ranges from one to five, which is very low to very high risk areas of the uh, classification system. So we have. Uh, that is why we are uh, going to reclassify into five into five. So reclassify, okay. So this is again a slope. A slope, yes. So we have produced elevation in the slope. We have prepared based on the requirements of criteria or based on the given data. So let me remove this one. The third one is from my data M4. Uh, the lowest amount of M4 is directly uh, relation, directly proportional to flood. That means when there is high amount of uh, rainfall. There is high, and there is a, a risk of uh, flood occurring. So now let me go to rainfall. Okay, great. So rainfall is the third criteria. The third criteria. By the way, how to how uh, uh, you can get this uh, rainfall either from rain gauge stations. When you get a rain gauge stations, the value from rain gauge stations, then you need to interpolate or clean, uh, clean in order to get the spatial coverage of your study area. Or uh, you can download from uh, raster data or from uh, continuous uh, variable from the sites. So I will give you the link to refer how to download rainfall data freely and how to interpolate from the given tabular data in your own. So you can check the link in the description below. So let me uh, go to the same again, reclassify, then go to uh, select rainfall. So classify, so classify into five. So from the lowest to the highest millimeters, uh, this is millimeters of rainfall. So let me reclass rainfall again. Okay, so this is rainfall, rainfall, and let me let me remove this one, this rainfall. Yes, so we have prepared now a rainfall, a slope, elevation. So the fourth one is when there is water body, high amount of high susceptibility, agricultural land, settlement, bare land, and vegetation is low susceptibility to flooding because if there is high vegetation cover, there is a low intensity of rainfall. So we have to arrange in such a way that in order to give the scale weight. Let us check our uh, land use land cover systems. 
so land is land cover agriculture bare land uh, settlement so reclassify yes land is land cover yes uh, land is land cover so the first one uh, is the first one is water body is the fifth one so this is fit this must be fifth so this must be fifth yes and vegetation is less susceptible to uh, village so this is used to one okay great so the third one is the third one is settlement So settlement is the third one by susceptibility. Yes, agriculture is the fourth one. Yes. The fourth one is agricultural land. So bare land is what's left is bare land. Bare land two. Okay, great. Very class. So, land is land cover. So the fourth one is that fourth criteria is any DVI. Any DVI. Any DVI. So any DVI starts from this one to this one. So this must be also reclassify. Go to reclassify. So select any DVI. So classify into five classes. Okay, great. Okay. So five classes. This is an EDV. Let me remove this one because it is duplicated. So, number six, distance from river. Yes, distance from river, reclassify. Distance from road, select value as it is, into five. Okay, great. Road. Road. What is left is distance from river. Go to select river. Yes. This as it is classified into five. Five classes. Okay, great. Okay. 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 River. So we have prepared this 
right areas. So make sure that each raster map must be the same resolution and the same projection, the same projection. So the final methodology we are going to apply is that with the overlay, in order to apply, uh, in order to combine in with the overlay, we have to determine the weights of each parameters in with the overlay. So, for, from seven parameters or from seven criteria, which one gets the highest amount, which means that these seven criteria must be. Uh, the, the sum of each criteria must be 100. So from 100, which one uh, gets the upper value or which one gets uh, the highest value? Okay, great. So uh, in order to know the sum of influences, we have uh, uh, there is a methodology uh, which is uh, criteria HP approach. This is analytical hierarchy approach, which means comparing each values towards comparing each values uh, one another. Okay, one another. So this is the criteria weight. We have to write, we have to select from each criteria. So based on this, we will uh, uh, produce, we will produce. Uh, criteria weight and combined in weighted overlay to produce flex uh, sensitivity map of uh, the study area. So I will show the comprehensive output and the method, the method how to produce using uh, an ethical hierarchy process. This is uh, demonstrated in multi criteria decision making analysis. So I will show you in the second part. But for today, this is uh, what I wanted to show. If you are new to this YouTube channel, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.